All right guys, so we are running iOS 26 on an iPad mini sixth generation, and we're gonna be resizing some windows here and showing you how to close and like minimize them and do a lot of other little things. So lower right hand corner, the Safari is a good app because it will shrink down pretty small because it's kind of based off now like the iPhone browser rather than a full iPad browser. Before you could do like a sliver and you know, you could do windows side by side, but now you can literally just move this around. We can bring different things up here. But for right now, we're just working with one singular window. So in the upper left hand corner, you see these dots. You can minimize that. It goes back into the dock. You can bring that back out. We can maximize it here with this. The red, of course, does minimize everything. Oh, and we've, oh, we lost it because, yeah. So we go back here. But another thing, if you didn't know, if you tap most apps on the very top, double tap, it'll bring you back into this full sized view. And it's pretty easy to kind of do this. Again, not all apps will shrink so small in size where you can run a bunch of apps. In this case, you know, one, two, three apps, but this does work really well. Another thing is if you bring this tab or this window all the way over here, you can have it hang off the edge. But if you bring it all the way from the top here, it'll kind of bounce back. It'll fill in that little gap here and it'll make a little bit more seamless just in case you want to pull a window all the way over here. So I remember if we pulled a window before, it would kind of snap into place, but I think that may be particularly for Mac OS or, or Windows. But it, again, if you go here to the corner there, then it will kind of tighten up there. Again, you can resize this to, let's see how long you can make this. We can make this a very long, long and short, or we can make it as skinny as possible. And let's see if you extend this, Oh, that's interesting. It pulled it off to this side. I'm not sure why I did that. But if you see, the dock will always be there unless you go long enough where it kind of gets in the way and then it kind of pops away and then you're there. You can pull this up and we can have a bunch of space. And now it's kind of like those old windows that we used to have or those tiles side by side. It really works out. I like it. And there, that's how you close the app and you're done.